I am ranking all 82 maps that comes with City Skylines. This episode is Snowfall DLC. This series is tournament style with the best map from each DLC sent to the final round to determine which map is truly the best map in City Skylines. Here's the point breakdown. Transportation accounts for 4 points with highways, railroads, shipping, and airports counting for 1 point each. Resources are worth 2 points, half a point for each type of resource. How the map looks is worth 3 points. And personal preferences account for 1 point. The maximum any map can score is 10 points. The first map is Frosty Rivers. The highways start out a little bumpy, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen in the world. Highways bumpy. It's a little bit steep here and there. It's not horrid. Like some other maps I've seen. Nice and flat over on this side, so that's good. A little bit bumpy over here. It's not bad at all. Railroads a little steep and a little too curvy, but it's not terrible. A tough little interchange there, but again, not bad. Steep curve. Steep and curvy, and not great. There's a lot of railroads in this map, and most of them are good. We've got a nice shipping route coming up into the harbor a little bit. I like that a lot. There's quite a bit of buildable area for an airport, but it is a little bit difficult in some areas. Surprisingly, resources are really good on this map. This map has a very interesting look to it. I like it a lot. There's a lot of elevation, there's a lot of water, there's plenty of buildable area. I think this map is pretty solid. And it's actually making me want to play a snowfall map. The second map is Frozenshire. The highways start out pretty good. Nice and flat. It's a little bumpy over here, but not bad. It's bumpy over here with some steep hills. That's a little tough. Then there's another highway over here. That is... It's an attempt. I will recognize that. They attempted it. I don't think it worked out too well. Terrible vanilla interchange, of course. Otherwise, it's not horrible, but it's not great. Railroad starts out pretty nice on this side. It comes around over here and just goes up the hillside. It gets a little bit steep here. It's not terrible. But I think there's another one over here. There is. And it just comes down the side of a mountain. That's a roller coaster. It's a pretty big roller coaster if you ask me. And that's a pretty awful interchange for a railroad, but whatever. It's a bit bumpy over here. Pretty hilly on this side, pretty steep. Railroads aren't great on this map. Uh, the shipping route's pretty unimaginative, and it's you don't get access to it for a while, so it's not great. Building an airport on here is gonna be a tough challenge. You can do it, but it'll be difficult. There's plenty of resources on this map. This map does a really good job with resources. You have access to a bunch of them right away as well. I think this map is the most visually stunning of all the snowfall maps. I think this is the one that looks the best. I'm willing to play it, but there'd be a few modifications I'd need before I can do it. The third map is Icy Islands. Highway starts out pretty good, really flat. Nice big curves, terrible interchange, pretty standard. There's a bunch of terrible interchanges, don't like that. But overall, the highways are very flat. Over here is not great, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Railroad starts over here. Doesn't start out the greatest, but it seems to level out pretty well. They did a pretty good job on the railroads. This is a little bit weird. I'm not a big fan of that, because it does get a little bit bumpy. A nasty bump here. Not a fan of that. Another nasty bump here. This is a strange train interchange, but it works. Nice and flat over that direction. Nice and flat over this direction. The trains are alright. They're not perfect, but they're alright. Well, boats are definitely interesting, but there's one major problem. They go right through rocks. That's unacceptable. Now you can get an airport just about anywhere. The only thing that's going to be limiting you is the water. The resources are abundant, but it takes a while to get all of them, and you only have forestry in your first tile, so it's good, but it's not great. The look at this map is pretty interesting. There's a lot of unique features to it, but it's not my favorite looking map. And with a few modifications, I'd be willing to play this map. The fourth map is Snowy Coast. Highways start off pretty nice, but then they get a little bit bumpy over here. And they don't end up pretty nice. Dislike the interchange very much. Doesn't really do anything unique over here. But the bridges are not at the same height. They're a little bit offset. They're not great. They are too steep over here. 
pretty good over here terrible interchange but the highway over here isn't doing too bad gets a little bit steep over here not a big fan of that doesn't really do anything over here they're pretty average railroad follows along the river here not great elevation changes doesn't interchange here so it follows this highway over here nothing really unique about that a lot of railroad interchanges though this one gets a little bit steep in places and bumpy not great gets really steep there lots of railroad interchanges can't go wrong there a little bit steep a little bit steep it gets deeper up here yep that's really steep so railroad's not great Hey, at least they put some thought into the shipping route. Like, the shipping route's actually pretty good here. Comes through here. I like this one quite a bit. There's not too much of a challenge of building an airport on this map. There are some areas that are difficult, but it's not all awful. The biggest challenge, I think, is going to be the water in the way. There are resources available, but you don't really get any in the first tile. Sure, you get some forestry, but it's not very strong. Um, it takes a while to get to all of your resources, so that's a little bit difficult. It's it's about average. I'm a big fan of the way this map looks. I think this map is really good looking. I think it deserves a pretty high ranking. And I'm really interested in playing this map. Just a few minor tweaks to fix, and I'm good with it. The fifth map is Winter Hills. The highways start out pretty good. Cutting the side of a hill, I like that. The bridge is just slightly off elevation, but it's not terrible. It would have done pretty well. It's a little bit steep here, but it kind of resolves itself up here, and it's actually not steep coming up this hillside. I think that looks really good. It may be a little bit steep in some areas, but overall, it, they did a really good job on this. And then we get this. It's not bad, but it's not great. The bridge is massive. Let me get another one of these. Not bad, but it's not great. Overall, the highway is pretty steep, so you just got to be careful when you're playing this map. Railroad comes along here, and it actually does a pretty good job going underneath the bridge there. It's really, really flat. I like that. It gets a little bit steep over here, but it's not bad. And I think there was another one. Yeah, there is another one. It's a bit of a hill, but it's not a terrible hill. I've seen a lot worse. Goes underneath the bridge, looks really good. The railroads are almost perfect. You just can't get to them for a while, but they're almost perfect. So there's a shipping route in here. I don't know if it needed one, but it has one and it's just to there. So I guess that's pretty average. Airports are gonna be next to impossible to build here. So good luck with that one. Resources are not abundant at all. There's no farming. You get barely any in your first tile. It takes a while to get to them. This isn't great. I do like the look of the map. It's definitely a different look and feel that we've than we've seen in other maps. Especially the snowfall ones. They've had mostly like a big ocean or like a big bay. And this one's mostly land with a few rivers. I do like the look of this map. But unfortunately, this is probably the one I don't want to play the most. The winner of the 15th bracket of maps is Frosty Rivers. If you'd like to see which map wins this tournament, make sure you subscribe and tune in tomorrow to see the next episode. I wanted to take a minute to thank Grottles for helping me rank all 82 maps. May God bless you and have a wonderful day.